All right, so what we got today? Well, we're back on the load store. I went ahead and threw a couple welds on the, our little brackets that we made for this uh, front suspension where we're doing the conversion here. So um, I threw some uh, the uh, rust rust oleum primer, some kind of primer on there. So anyway, makes me feel a little bit better about it, not rusting away right right away. So anyway. Going to uh, throw the axle under, see if we can't get this thing bolted in. Got some uh, new U-bolts made, so. Um, went to a place in uh, Lexington, Kentucky. Um, let's see. Yeah, Lexington Auto Spring and Brake Alignment Company. So, um, super, super helpful. I mean, they made these I didn't even have. Uh, my old one with me and they made these uh, absolutely perfect um, all I did was basically tell them the length and the size and the measurements so they are, they knew what they was doing so uh, shout out to them they did awesome good price too it was cheaper than the ones I could find online they made them like in 10 minutes so yeah anyway got those everything should be ready now we can finally throw this axle back in and hope it clears everything if not we'll be sawing out exhaust pipes and uh beating in the oil pan with a sledgehammer or something or other but um hopefully hopefully everything uh, clears enough to uh to be able to drive and not uh do too much damage so anyway let's get this thing thrown under here so here's our little brackets um now that we got them welded on just look over all that spatter no runs in this paint oh yeah that should be good enough. All the measurements come out real good. They're they're it, ah, they're good. They're in a good spot. So let's uh, see if we can't shove this under here without ripping these backer plates off uh, these discs. And uh, I feel like crazy to get this on top of this axle the last or on top of these leaves the last time. But I'm hoping now that these brackets are on here that it'll be a little bit easier once I get it flipped over. It'll kind of set in place. So hope so. Let's get it. Stop caring if you tear that backer plate off there. It goes in a lot easier if you just drag it through the gravel. So it's under there. Now I'm going to try to get it up on the leaf and uh, hopefully it goes easier than the last time. There we go. Upside down, but whew, going in the right direction. Whew. That thing's heavy. Completely upside down on here. Not what I wanted at all, but. Broke the brake line off. Figures. Should have known. Mm. 
Now, can we flip that over on there? Probably not. But we're gonna try. It's coming around. It's getting a little rough. I think it's really close now. So there it's set down on the bolt head. <laughs> Got about an inch from the oil pan. But I don't even care anymore. I just wanted it on there so we can bolt it on, then we'll see what happens. But I am a little bit high right there, so maybe we got more than an inch. Whew. All right, that boat's lined up too. Yeah, we actually got about two, almost two inches, I'd say. And I still got to let it down a little bit because of these spring hangers. Let's see if we can do that without dropping it out of place. Whew, that was harder than I thought it was gonna be. Should've known, it was tough the first time, but I think it was a little worse this time. So far, that's looking pretty good. Dang. Let's see if we can get these uh, pins in these leaf springs here. This is why I need a shop. Working in the dirt is just, just getting old. Thank you. 
Yes, I'm going to take all this off and clean it, re-grease it, but I wanted it to stay together. So putting those in, I'm going to go put them in on the other side too now. These U-bolts looking really good. And I ordered them just a little bit long, that way I can cut them off if I need to, but they, uh, they did a really good job. Looking good. put my little shim on um, I know it goes between the leaf spring and the axle but I, I don't know if I need it what do you guys think do I need that on there I assume I do because it was on there I'm not leaving it off it's just I didn't put it on right now so I can get the truck moved but um, do I need to put it on the opposite way now because it's on top of the leaf I can't remember which way it was. I'll have to look back at my old footage and see, but uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Do I need to put that back on there? Is it needed? And uh, if so, which way does it need to go now that the axle is on top of the leaf? Hey, yeah, buddy, that looks good. I'm going to put the other ones on the other side and then we'll stick the wheels on and set this thing on the ground. I'm excited to see what it looks like. Now, the question is, will this jack let this truck all the way down and still come out from under it and it not fall off the bumper? So, let's see. Trying to slide off of there already. We're almost on the ground. I don't think we're going to make it. The jack's too high for the truck now. Yeah. Let's see if this will work.
Okay. Now that's a lot lower. <laughs> Brother did get the jack out from under it with it all the way down. Look at that. Oh, it rubs. Yeah, she's uh kind of nose nose to the grindstone there. We'll start on the rear next, but I think that'll work. That's a lot lower than it was, so I don't even know if that's hitting anything right there. <laughs> Looks like it's like a half inch from the oil pan. Yeah, that'll work good, right? But that does look a lot better. Kind of hard to see with the sun and that pole out right in the way, but. She's down there now. I'd say as low as we can go with the, the solid front axle. I don't even know if we can go that low. It'd be banging off the oil pan. Yeah. What do you think of that? Is that low enough? I hope it is. I mean, look, that's a lot lower than it was <laughs> God. wow well, i'm happy with that hopefully it's not an issue with the oil pan but it probably will be um if it is maybe we can uh, add some some sort of little bit of a lift to the springs to get some clearance i don't know but i'm gonna keep rolling with it so i guess we'll have to end the video here i mean kind of running out of daylight got to go back to work so um i got i kind of made this got this step out of the way this is kind of where i wanted to get to this week so glad to have this sitting on its own i know the steering's not hooked up i'm i'm probably end up having to take the steering box off of the low pro put on this truck i guess it'll work i don't know we'll find out but the kind of the old old style steering linkage is not compatible i don't think with this axle and it's kind of bulky sticks out in the way so i don't know if it'll work or not we'll look at it before we take that one off that truck but anyway um it's down in the front i can roll it now i mean it's down on the wheels i can roll it over to the building now so we can chop the frame off the back get rid of those that axle get the axle off the low pro uh, need to cut it off, but I can't move it over there. So we might end up with uh, cutoff wheels on this one. I don't know. I was going to use the plasma cutter. I'm not sure what's the best cut. I don't know. Maybe a cutoff wheel be a little smoother. What do you guys think? Plasma probably quicker, a little sloppier with me especially. But once we roll this out, we'll get the the bed off of it, cut it. Hopefully, get that one on and get some sort of drive line situation worked out. Um, trying to decide on a you know a cab to axle length so if you guys got any suggestions let me know or kind of a suggestion of what kind of bed uh, i don't know if i'll throw the flatbed back on it i don't know if i put a gooseneck on it i probably won't be towing with it really so i really don't need to it'll probably be some sort of bed maybe a tool bed or uh maybe the flatbed or a ramp like a ramp truck i don't know let me know what you guys think if you got any suggestions um yeah i guess we'll end this video here and uh yeah, got some progress made. I think it looks good this way. I would like it to be a little lower, but that's not going to happen. I'm going to be um, bouncing off the oil pan going down the road. So we'll see what we can do about that. But anyway, let's, uh, let's get out of here and get on something else.